Hey, what's up? On this video, I'm going to break down Clutch.co's backlink strategy. Uh, it's going to be a quick one, and this was recommended to me by someone on my Facebook group, which I'll leave a link below. Um, but this essentially, uh, Clutch.co is essentially a site that aggregates companies that do certain things, from marketing companies to web design agencies, SEO agencies, all that. Essentially, a huge directory full of different companies. So, advertising, IT, business. Seems somewhat simple, but their backlinking strategy is pretty clever. Um, so let's get straight into it. So before I show you the actual strategy, let me just show you first uh, what this looks like. So the if we take a look here at the number of referring domains, so a referring domain is essentially a site linking to yours. Essentially, when a site links to Clutch.co, right, they get one referring domain. Of course, that same site can link to Clutch.co multiple times. That's why, of course, the number of backlinks is usually higher than the number of referring domains. But as we can see here, their backlink backlinking strategy has allowed them to grow their referring domains profile pretty steadily along the years, right? The growth is steady. It has been steady, uh, steady all, all across time. If you look at the past year, we can see that the trajectory is still going up. Of course, sometimes it plateaus a bit, but the trend is to uh, keep on rising. Now, if you take, of course, a look at the organic search, uh, they are peaking at around uh, around 3 million uh, organic visitors per month, which is huge, right? Uh, keep in mind that this is a somewhat, quote unquote, simple uh, directory site, right? There's no IP on this, right? Uh, it's just a directory site. And of course, I don't want to take anything away from them. It's quite hard to build a site like this and a successful company like this. But at the end of the day, it boils down to a website where you can check reviews, check the average pricing, the location of these uh, different firms that uh, are listed here on this, uh, uh, this page, right? You can click to view the website, view profile, contact. Essentially, again, they're aggregating the uh, supply for you, okay? Now, taking a look here at the backlinking strategy, which is pretty interesting, but in my opinion, they've only managed to succeed with this backlinking strategy because of the brand name they've built. So the backlinking strategy essentially is, if we go here to their backlinks, uh, I mean, I can do it even uh, manually, go to backlinks, I mean, I'll get to overview first, then go to backlinks. By the way, all this data that I'm checking here, uh, you can check for free on Vetted, if you just go to vetted.com and then click on your campaigns, you can get access to, uh, if you link a site, of course, you can get access to any site's backlinks. You can even put your competitor, competitor site here and take a look at all their backlinks. So pretty cool stuff. I'm just using Ahrefs because it's faster for me at the moment. Now, you go to backlinks and then click on backlink profile and do image in Anchor. And this will give us all the image backlinks. Now, why is this important? Because if we start clicking through all these, what we're going to see is that what they're doing, clutch.co here, if we scroll down to the footer in most of these, we can see that there's a badge for clutch, right? Here there's a badge for clutch. If we scroll down here, I'm sure we'll find a badge for clutch as well, right here, right with the link. Here, I'm sure as well, right there, as you can see. So what are they doing here and what have they done throughout the years? Because they've managed to build such a, th a strong, sorry, authoritative brand, must uh, just like Trustpilot, for example, if you take a look at all the restaurants uh, at the footer, most of them have a link to their Trustpilot because Trustpilot has now been associated with a good restaurant. So if you have five stars on Trustpilot, you are a good restaurant. People also use Trustpilot for SaaS software and other things, but most people associate Trustpilot and having the Trustpilot logo down here with the reviews, to associate that uh, and give it a trust factor to that uh, badge, right? Essentially, what Clutch is doing here is the same for these uh, businesses. It's, again, every single one of these has the badge down here, right? And because of that, Clutch has managed to build a ton, a ton, a ton of backlinks, powerful backlinks from all these big corporations, big companies that, of course, want to be listed on their site because when they're listed on their site, they get leads, right? If I go here and search for an app development, mobile app development company, I'm going to go through all these, right? Some of these might be paid listings, as we can see here. These guys are paying to be on top. These guys as well, all these guys as well. But what's happening here is that if these guys want to be listed here, they need to include a link back to um, 
uh, clutch, right? Some of these might not have to do it because they're sponsored, but I, I would assume that the non-sponsored listings and got them, all these are sponsored. So <laughs> yeah, all these are sponsored essentially, but the ones that are, are that are not, and even the ones that are, uh, I'm sure there's some contractual thing that, that uh, essentially tells them that they need to include a link in the footer for uh, their, uh, again, for clutch. Now, that's one part of the thing is that Clutch is making them quote unquote link back to them. The other part of the thing is that because Clutch is such a huge brand and has cemented themselves as an authority in the space, companies want to include the badge on their site uh, back, uh, uh, linking to Clutch, right? Just like some of the SEO agencies have a badge for Google Google Ads Partner or, for example, Microsoft Partner. This and this doesn't even have a link, right? But companies want to include this because it conveys trust, right? If I go here to this um, company and I'll scroll down here, I can see, okay, so they're a partner from for Microsoft. And I myself, of course, I know Microsoft. I know they're a trustworthy company. And if, if these guys are a partner of the Microsoft and if they're associated with them, they might be trustworthy as well. Same thing is happening with Clutch. Now, of course, this brand recognition takes years to build, uh, which, I mean, it's very, very hard, much like Trustpilot, Yelp, uh, and all that. But one thing that I do think helped them uh, reach this global status of authority in this space was uh, the creation, of course, of this aggregation platform, where if you wanted to be listed here, you'd have to include a link uh, from your site back to your site, because Clutch is essentially sending leads to all these companies, right? And in return, they either pay to be listed here or they just put a small badge on the footer of their site back to Clutch. It's essentially how they pay uh, for the service. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty simple concept, uh, but it is simple, but it is, it is very difficult to, to, to achieve it, right? Uh, this is a very, very big company. They've been years in the market, years in the making. Uh, that being said, I like to see when big companies that are very, very complex use these quote unquote simple strategies to acquire uh, backlinks or to do any kind of SEO. Um, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, one, also, one thing we can look at is how they um, develop their URLs. They, of course, have a link for the agencies, right? Marketing agencies, they have it's the same for web designs, SEO firms, right? They aggregate based on category, but then they also aggregate based on location. So if you go to this one, for example, we can see that this is aggregated for web design and then they put location, United States. And then they go even more in depth, they do New York. And then even more, they do New York City. So they have a bunch of these pages, right? A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of them. Much like the case study I did on Upwork a while back where they have uh, SEO professionals, then SEO professionals in the US, in the US, then cities inside the US. They go very, very in depth. This is a very deep, I guess you can call it deep site. Uh, they target actual locations with all these pages. Now, of course, this takes a lot of time to build. Most of these, though, are just programmatically done. Uh, so anyone can, in theory, to do something like this. Uh, but I guess I just wanted to cover their backlinking strategy, which is uh, quite interesting, quite simple to some extent. Um, but uh, yeah, it's cool, cool to see. Um, and yeah, that's essentially it. Um, this again was suggested by someone on my Facebook group. I'll, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. And since I'm here, I might as well promote all this stuff. Vetted's campaigns, you can get access to all this data for free. Competitor data, top keywords, backlinks, top pages, top competitors. Um, also, this little plugin right here, if I go to the site, click on here, I'll leave a link for this in the description as well. Essentially, it's a plugin, a free plugin. If you go to the Google Chrome store and type in Vetted SEO Helper, you get access to this. This gives you a bunch of information for your technical and on-page SEO effort, right? You can take a look at the meta tags. Uh, I'm not sure why this is not appearing. Let me just go here to the home page. You can take a look at their, wow, this is bugging out a bit, but I'm sure if we try it out on a different site, let's do vetted really quickly and click here. Yeah, uh, maybe I'm being dumb, but uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, meta title, meta description, uh, open graph images, headings, h1s, h2s, images, links, files, uh, robots.exe, sitemap, a bunch of tools. You can essentially use this to audit, quickly audit any site um, just like that. And uh, finally, to finish off, the managed SEO solution. Uh, we just launched this recently. If you're looking to hire an SEO uh, full-time, so not just one-off uh, gigs or microservices like we do on Vetted, but someone to take care of your SEO on a recurring monthly basis, 
you can apply to join this uh, right here. We don't accept everyone, of course. We do pre-vet the SEOs, but we also have to pre-vet the clients. Uh, so that's why you have to request access to to get in. And yeah, that's essentially it. Hopefully, like, hopefully you like this video. Um, it was a quick one, I guess. I didn't plan too much for it, but I want to improve these videos. So I want to do more and more. I want to try to post a video every single day. And instead of them being pretty high quality, like high production, I just want to turn on the computer, turn on the camera and get this going and get these uh, straight out to you. And uh, as time goes on, they will improve and I will improve because I know I stumble upon my words a lot. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Check out Veta and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.